I think there'll always be movies, but storytelling through through games as a whole and through um, community storytelling, where you've got multiple people interacting in a, in a story, is going to get bigger and bigger. Just look at World of Warcraft um, and the people that still still play Final Fantasy. Those are two big games that that uh, millions of people are still playing um, and interacting and and uh, creating their own stories. Uh, so yeah, it, it, at some point in time, you know, are you going to go to the movies and and have a you know something in your hand that that lets you interact with something on the big screen? It's it's quite possible. Sure, you go to SIGGRAPH, the uh, the conference for uh, computer graphics, and every year they have a uh, a huge community game that's that uh, involves interaction with people. And uh, one of the years they had a guy skiing down a down a hill, and the, the direction he turned was was based on a red or a green paddle, and if more red paddles were shown, then he turned one way. If more green paddles were turned, then he turned the other way. So yeah, those things, people are already looking at them. And music will be a, be a big part of that. Probably the biggest integration of music into games is, is going to be Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero 2, 3, and Rock Band. Um, that's probably the new karaoke now. Um, <clears throat> and the impact on the music industry is huge. Uh, in the last five months, I believe, um, Guitar Hero 3 has seen five million downloads, uh, and so that's additional uh, music uh, to play in, in the game. And then Rock Band has seen, I think, about 2.5 million downloads. And the result of that has, has been an increase in those musics being down, th those, uh, uh, those songs being downloaded from iTunes because people are are playing the songs and realizing, oh, this is a cool song. I want to go get it. And they're creating their own, their own iTunes tracks based off of you know songs they've been playing in Guitar Hero, and uh, and Rock Band. Uh, so that's really, uh, really incredible. Um, <clears throat> some of the things on the graphic side, if you look at at uh, Crisis, which is a, a new game that's come out this past year, um, the the graphics are just so incredible. Um, walking through a forest and, and having leaves move out of your way when you brush by them, it, it's, it's truly amazing compared to you know, the old days when you, know, you were playing a side-scroller. Going to a, a place like Best Buy and buying a game is, is at some point in time going to not be your method of, of uh, paying for and getting your game. Uh, Valve with Steam is a good example. You uh, you get a free, you just download the the Steam uh, software and get a Steam account, and then you can download the games and and pay for them right there, and you don't don't have to go anywhere. Um, that model I see is is going to get um, is going to get more attractive to to companies. Um, <clears throat> one of the biggest problems right now is shelf space at Best Buy and the big companies can pretty much buy shelf space. Uh, but if you, can, if you can get a game and get it out there and, and not have to worry about shelf space and not have to worry about a publisher, uh, that's better for you. Uh, so I see that model I I increasing. Um, with hardware, where are we going with hardware? Who knows? Um, y you know, the, the Wii is not what they were calling next-gen consoles. You know, the Xbox 360 and the PS3 were. Uh, their current technology now, next-gen is what they're working on, but uh, the Wii is, did not fit into that class, and yet the Wii is outselling it, all of it simply because it's targeting an audience <clears throat> that's that a mother and father and grandmother and grandfather. Uh, and they're now able to play games with their kids and interact with their, with their kids. Uh, and grandchildren. Um, so is, is technology the key to, to gaming? I don't know. The Wii is proving it, it's, it's not. Um, so I think good games and good gameplay are, are really what, what's, uh, what people are going to start concentrating on. And the, the newer technology gives people the freedom to, 
to create and build worlds that were bigger and better and, and more realistic than before, um, add uh, complete orchestras and, and uh, sound into it that, that really makes you feel um, the emotions that, that uh, audio can bring out. Um, so it's not particularly the technology that makes a good game, uh, and, and it's not um, it's more the gameplay. So I, I see people concentrating more on, you know, creating a good game than uh, than creating a tech demo that's going to show the hardware capabilities of a of a specific console.